Hello everyone, my name is Anish Rana and you are watching Kubernetes web series and this series is for CKAD exam and today my topic is applic application observability and maintenance and it has a weightage of 15% so let's understand what are the topic it has understand API application implement props and health checks use built-in CLI tools monitor Kubernetes application utilize container logs and debugging in Kubernetes now we can combine two topic into one question and that is implement props and health checks and debugging in Kubernetes. In exam, you may observe this type of question that a pod is running on a cluster, but it is not responding. It is expected to Kubernetes to restart the pod when an endpoint returned to HTTP 500 return code on slash health Z endpoint. It can be anything, right? The service liveness HTTP should never send traffic to the port when it is falling. It indirectly says that you need to create some, you know, liveness or readiness props. Please complete the following. These are some tasks here. So it is say restart. The application has an endpoint slash started. From this point i can say that we have two endpoint one is for slash health and the other one is slash started and if we can accept traffic by returning http 200 if the endpoint return 500 return code the application is not finished or initialized yet it means that it is a readiness prop it is asking us to create okay the second point is the application has another endpoint slash health z this is what it talking about if application work then it should return http 200 and if http return 500 application is no longer responsive maybe we need to restart the container right and here it says restart the pod restart the pod for slash health z it means that it is asking us to create a liveness prop and configure this liveness http port provided use the following endpoints so it is the port name here liveness http and the prop should use port number 8080 so this is the port number that we need to use here let's proceed how we can solve this question if you go to my github page here i have already uploaded all these videos here so you need to click on ckad it should be inside anishana 2001 and our topic is this one so click here and click on lab now a pod is running on a cluster but it is not responding the same thing i have mentioned here the question is same in order to resolve this issue first we need to create a lab for this question right in this question we have two endpoints thus we have to modify the nginx configuration file with these two endpoints and this is my nginx configuration file that i have created here and inside this i just mentioned location slash health z and location started that's it and after that obviously i need to create a two files for each endpoints one is for health z and the other one is started further i created a config map and use this file so that i can import this config map when i use this Code. This is the way we can use. This is my liveness pro here. If application work, then it should return HTTP 200. If its endpoint return 500, so it says liveness pro here and it's LZ. This is what I have already created one port YAML file for lab purpose. I don't have the exact YAML file what they are will going to ask you, right? For that reason, I'm just creating my own YAML file. And I will update you what we did here. How we can do the lab practice here. This is the agenda of this exercise. After that, we will create this liveness probe here. Uh, let me go to one directory here and let me check if anything is here. No, nothing. So that's good. And let me tell you that you know if you are not aware about this liveness and readiness probe. So for you, I have already uploaded one video on my YouTube channel. And the name is this, and 
obviously i will add the link of this video into the description you can click on more and you will find the link of this video now i assume that you have already watched this video and then you are watching this video okay so all these contents are well explained if you have not watched then i recommend you to watch this video first before go to this here let me create the pages here now i'm going to create the config map so that i can import now i need to copy this pod that i have already explained to you create the window and now i'm going to create this object that is intentionally i did one mistake in my manifest file so that i can show you in exam you may observe this type of issue and it is running and it was not ready and now it is ready here let's wait for a couple of more minutes and it should say not ready now as you can observe that it is not ready here and now it is again ready here if i do control c if i if i describe this port and tail i will observe that liveness probe field CDB props field, right? This is the lab that we need to create, and it this is the prerequisites for this question. Now, in question, it says that there are two health points, health Z and started. What we can do here, we can use two CTL get pod liveness minus o yaml and paste it in our one file. In exam, we need to redirect the output of this pod into one file. and then open this file and we need to check where is the issue most of the time the issue is the naming of this live z lz or started maybe there is some error they have created here so let's check what would be the error here this is my liveness prop here one can observe that still we get the path is health only However, in the question, it is mentioned that the health, the path should be health Z here. It means that we need to add or correct the endpoint. Let's check for the readiness prop. For readiness prop, it is okay, and the port number is also eighty eighty. Schema is HTTP. In exam, let's take an example that if readiness prop. Config is not added here. Then you need to add here manually. What you can do here, you need to open the Kubernetes dot io web page. Click on documentation. Further, you can add liveness, just liveness, and open the first URL that is configure liveness and readiness prop. If you scroll down, you will observe that there are many configuration for pod. and now here you need to check which one we need to add here whether it's a command one or http if it's http then you need to go down and now you can see this is the config for liveness prob here and this is the http here you just need to copy these values that's it into the notepad and change it to readiness let me show you here it is all again lz so you can modify it started port number is 8080 http header we don't require so we can remove it just copy and also modify this ready r e a d ready ness that's it and it should be small and the probe p is in capital that's it you need to add this syntax in the manifest file if it's not mentioned in the yaml file okay let me save this file here and then first we need to delete this right cube ctl delete pod liveness now cube ctl apply minus f q6 whatever the file name you want to use cube ctl get pod liveness and let's wait for one or two minutes or maybe we can use minus w here and it says that my liveness 
pod is running fine and it should not down maybe you can wait for one or two minutes to check in the exam this is what we need to perform in this question here let's go back to our ppt here then delete this part and this is the url that you can use to understand the liveness readiness or startup props now we have completed this implement props and health checks and debugging we also did the debugging that why this is not working here the third topic would be use built in cli tool to monitor kubernetes applications your task is to find the pod which is consuming the most cpu in the namespace cluster monitoring and write only the name of pod in this file the file is already created for you first we use the right context in the question that is mentioned here in every question you will observe that they have asked you to use this context only thus first i use this context we may check the cpu utilization with the help of top command with kubectl after that pod minus n is for namespace the namespace is cluster monitoring this is what it is mentioned in the question copy the pod name which consume highest cpu utilization name and paste it in the file that is mentioned in the question head that's it echo pod name like this one here let me show you in my lab if i have added the monitoring here kubectl top pods minus capital a it shows that pod utilization let's take an example that this 32 is the highest one and the pod name is this what i can do here echo like this one and append the sign and the file name that is mentioned here this is just an example here after that we can do the post checks here if it's mentioned right or not yeah the pod name is correctly mentioned in this file here this is what it is required through this question examiner wants to check if you are aware about the top command let's proceed for the last topic that is utilize container logs use this correct context you sometime need to observe a pod logs and write those logs to a file for further analysis please complete the following task create a new teleworker pod in the cluster using this yaml file here there is one yaml file that is mentioned in the exam extract the log from this application and store in this file first we need to create the pod from the yaml file and after that we need to execute the kubectl log command and whatever the com the output it comes we need to forward or you know append to this log file here and the file would be already created in the exam if it's not then you can create it by yourself it's not a very big deal solution would be first thing use the right context whatever the it mentioned in the exam after that you can check whether this file is available or not it should be there or maybe you if you want you can get this file when you open this file you can check the port name it should be teleworker as per the question please keep in mind that in your exam your port name will be different or it should be in some different namespace if all okay then we can create this resource by using this command kubectl create minus f and then file name file name with absolute path which is given in the question you can also check the logs with the help of kubectl logs and then port name and here in the exam it is mentioned that whatever the log it produced, it should redirect to one file. And this is the file that I copied from this question here. And further, you can use cat command for the post check. You can use cat and this file name. It should produce the same output, whatever you have observed here. That's it from this topic. And if you like this video, please like and share and comments. And if you're giving this paper, CK, AD, and if you observe a new question, please add in the comment that i observe new question i will create a new videos with these questions in this way we can help to all the devops community
like and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues thank you bye bye namaste